I hope to be able to spend some time today just explaining to you all how a graduate of the class of 1967 here at Chaminade literally changed my life. At the time that he was graduating from Chaminade, I was graduating from the Naval Academy and I went to Quantico, Virginia. And then in February of 1968, he and I ended up in the same platoon together in Hue City during the Tet Offensive of 1968. But Guido was a great young man who his fellow Marines just loved and he had just enough imp in him, I guess, to keep his fellow Marines laughing and having a good time, but focused on the mission. On 30 July 1968, while my platoon of about 35 Marines was on patrol outside of Da Nang, South Vietnam, a enemy sniper fired at and hit Lance Corporal Guido Farinaro right in the middle of the chest. And although I had had Marines wounded before, I had not had a Marine killed in action. It infuriated me, so much so that I called in an artillery strike on the village from which the sniper had fired. And during the time that we waited for the artillery to be fired, my platoon sergeant, who was the senior enlisted man in my unit, that platoon sergeant didn't say anything to me, but he just looked at me. And I knew by the way he was looking at me that what I was doing was wrong. Fortunately, I was able to call off the artillery and do what I should have done in the first place, which is put the platoon on line and sweep through the village on foot, which we did and go figure all we found was women and children. I would not be standing in front of you today had I in fact conducted that strike. What I learned that day was that, and it has been true for the rest of my life, every single time I have been challenged morally, it has been at a time when I am least prepared emotionally to deal with it. Something unexpected happens, something that gets your emotions flowing and now you have to deal with it. And you don't think as straight as you otherwise would and you start cutting corners and doing things you wouldn't do. I promised myself on 30 July, 1968, that I would never let that happen again. And what I have done every day since 1968, including this morning, is think through what might happen today that will challenge me morally and trying to set my moral compass about who I want to be tomorrow morning. But what I commend to you is the process of each day setting your moral compass deciding who you want to be tomorrow morning and then living the life today so that you can be proud of the guy you see in the mirror. You will not remember every single class you take here at Chaminade, but Chaminade is helping you develop your brain in a way that allows you to problem solve. And if you will set your moral compass daily or weekly or however often you think you need to do it, it'll become part of your decision process and you won't even be aware of it. But when something happens, you will, as part of your decision process, think to yourself, is this me? Would I be proud of myself if I was watching myself do this? When I would testify in front of Congress as vice chairman and chairman, there was a pad of paper so you could take notes. And I would always write at the very top of the paper, Lance Corporal Guido Farinero. Somebody would get a little bit in my face or perhaps not say things that were as kind as I think they should have been to me. And I would read Guido's name and I would remind myself, he deserved me to do my job. And my job was to answer the question, not get upset about the way it was being asked. There's no doubt that in my mind, he, he never ever thought that his lieutenant would become chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, nor would he have guessed the impact he would have on me and so many others. Neither can you understand what the good Lord has planned for you. But if you are in this school today, and if you are hearing my voice today, you are an important person to the good Lord. And he has you on a path that you cannot yet understand. I was asked again this morning, as I am often, do you miss being on active duty? The answer is I miss nothing about Washington, D.C., but I do miss being on active duty. I do miss being able to hug the troops and tell them I love them. I do miss having the opportunity to influence the decision process in a way that I hope was good for the nation. None of that, none of it would have happened without Guido Farinero and this incredible school.